Personally, LGBTQI plus representation has been extremely important to me and critical for my developing scientific career. It was until I had, you know, a few mentors who were, um, who belonged to LGBTQI plus communities that I was really able to kind of be comfortable with me, be comfortable with who I was in my field. And um, they really showed me a future where I could belong, you know, amongst these intelligent people making these discoveries and then also succeed. So for me personally, it was very critical to becoming, you know, the best scientist I could be. If you don't see yourself represented in a particular career path, it's very difficult to imagine yourself in that career. So representation matters. Also, there's a lot of backlash happening culturally right now where they're trying to erase our identities. They're trying to push us back into the closet. Um, and that's not okay. And we should fight with everything we have against it and be loud and proud about who we are so that those um, who are looking up to us um, have role models to look up to. We add a new perspective to the field, especially for me breaking down gender binaries. It really helps remind me that microbes aren't behaving in binary ways. They're not inactive or, or active at one point or another. They're not just doing one function. There's a whole assortment of things that they can be or might be expressing at different times and in different situations. And it just helps remind me that when I'm trying to analyze my data and see it from a little bit of a new perspective. So I believe that each one of us has a unique set of skills that if nurtured properly, could position us to accomplish amazing things. My advice for young career scientists, and that includes myself, is to identify mentors that see those unique gifts that each one of us brings to the table and to definitely avoid those that make us feel like we do not belong. You don't owe anyone coming out. You don't owe anyone a piece of yourself and if you don't want to share, you don't have to. You don't have to sit on an LGBTQ plus panel, especially if they ask you every single time. You don't owe any job, your whole self. It's not always easy to gauge who is safe in a lot of institutions and people know exactly the right things to say and will harm you and vote against your civil rights anyway. I would say it's okay to rest. It's been an extremely long few years and we just can't take on every single fight. And if you have people you trust, ask them to do the heavy lifting. Build your networks, of course, but keep safe.